Hi, it's Anna Mason, and in this video, I'm going to demo painting snow effects in watercolour by painting a section of this snowy pine cone. As always with watercolour, we paint the lightest tones first, so when painting a snowy subject, that's the snow. Key to painting such a complex subject in a realistic way is to get the drawing spot on. That means literally drawing around most little sections of snow, because we're going to paint around them. This is the best way to achieve a nice bright white for them when using watercolour. I say most of them because in this photo there are a lot of teeny tiny flecks of snow which are too small to paint around and which we'll be able to add in with paint at the end. To make this drawing process easier, I've enlarged the pine cone to 26 by 36 centimetres, that's 10 by 14 inches. I used an art projector to assist me in my drawing so that I could get a really accurate result more quickly and I've drawn out a section to demo in my sketchbook. As you'd expect, the snow on the cone contains some sections that are really bright white, but the rest of the areas of snow are actually a fraction darker. So I mixed a super pale grey wash and applied it to those slightly darker areas of snow. Next I used more watery pale versions of the different brown colours to paint around the shapes of snow. You might be tempted to use masking fluid to mask off the snow, but in my experience you won't be able to get a really accurate application of it for something like this, and with it on the paper you won't be able to make the kind of subtle tonal adjustments I like to make to get a realistic result. This is a stage where I really had to concentrate and look very carefully at the reference photo to make sure I didn't paint in the wrong place. It wouldn't matter if a few bits of snow got painted over, but when we're looking for a realistic result, we need to make sure that we're as accurate as we can be. I had to use a small brush for this so that I could mark out the little shapes of snow too. I then used a slightly darker grey mix to work into the grey areas of the cone and the darker shadow areas of snow. It was now easier to make sense of the drawing, but the darks and mid-tones needed a lot of darkening. So next it was time to be brave and mix up a really thick black-brown mix that was a match to the very darkest colours within the cone, adding plenty of texture to the edges that would need to transition into lighter colours by stippling with my brush. And again I painted around the more prominent little bits of snow. With this dry I created thicker, darker mixes of the browns and greys I'd mapped out before and applied another layer to these areas creating plenty of texture as I went. Then I could create some tonal adjustments, darkening the darkest tones with another layer, as well as some of the darker parts of the snow again with another layer. With each layer dry before I apply the next, there's not a danger of the darker colours bleeding into the snow areas. Then I used my smallest brush to add more dark details and really refine the edges of the shapes of snow, and did a little bit more darkening up. Only when I was happy that the cone was dark enough overall did I use some thick white gouache paint and my tiny brush to add in a few more flecks of snow, the smaller ones that had been too fiddly to try and paint around. They don't come up as light as if I'd left them as paper, but it's fine for these smallest of shapes. Even painting this small section of the pine cone took around an hour, so to paint the whole pine cone at this large scale took me around 8 hours to do and I paint pretty fast but I think it's worth it because adding snow effects really does create a very Christmassy seasonal look, perfect if you're planning to paint your own Christmas card. I hope this has shown you that by working around the snow as you build up your subject, you can really achieve realistic snow results when using watercolour. A video class of these snow effects, including a traceable drawing of the full snowy pine cone done for you, is available now in my online school. If you've enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'd love it if you'd share it with your friends. And if you'd like to take one of my tried and tested video classes for free, visit animasonart.com where you'll find even more resources to help you pick up your brush and paint the way you've always wanted to. But remember, you won't improve your painting unless you make the time to actually paint. So be sure to schedule in some me time this week and paint something you love. Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon with another tip for creating watercolours with WOW.